So, so, so. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. Bryce's video. Um, as you can see by this caption, I am going to be giving you a few foods that um, just don't agree with braces. It's not foods that you can't eat. It's just foods that get stuck in your braces. Well, my braces easily and it's a mess. So if you guys want to hear just this short, short list of these items, these foods, keep watching. Alright guys, before I go any further into this video, if you are not subscribed to this channel, hit that red subscribe button. Um, if you are subscribed to this channel and haven't been getting the notifications lately, check that notifications bell. Um, yeah, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Alright you guys, so I've had my braces uh, in a couple of days, a few days, it'll be two whole months and things are going absolutely perfect. Um, I've put up several videos and I have gotten emails um, and comments, mainly emails and some Instagram messages uh, from some of you guys that's asking me to continue to update you guys on my braces journey. Um, there are some people that, well there's a couple of ladies that um, they're interested in getting braces and so yeah. They said that it's helpful to them, my experience, and well one of those two is getting ready to get braces. so. Yeah, and I said I was going to do my very best to update you guys on my journey, um, my tightenings, and um, just some things sporadically here and there. So this is one of those random sporadic videos. So yeah, I'm going to give you some of my top foods that are easily, um, that are aggravating to my braces. Not so much aggravating, but they stick in your braces and they are a nuisance. But they're foods that you can't eat. So the first food that sticks in your braces and will have you going to the restroom or looking in your mirror, checking to see if it's any showing, is Cheetos. You can eat Cheetos. You can bite down your front teeth with Cheetos. Um, but they get stuck in your teeth. I advise you, if you're going to eat Cheetos with braces, eat them while you're at home, not expecting company, not expecting to go anywhere. Because if you eat that, if you eat Cheetos when you're like in the car riding on your way to somewhere, or if you're in a crowd of people and you're eating Cheetos, trust and believe, your front teeth are going to be orange. All your teeth, matter of fact, are going to be orange. Your um, brackets are going to be full of the yellow, gooey um, Cheetos. Yeah. So it's automatic. You're going to have to rinse your teeth out, rinse your mouth out, or brush your teeth after you eat Cheetos. The second food that is um, that gets stuck in braces easily is like tall salads. I love spinach in my salads, but y'all, if I'm in a salad bar and there's spinach in the salad bar and I want it really bad, but I just ought not to get it because the spinach gets stuck in your teeth. Excuse me, and I'm constantly asking my children or my husband, you know, asking, do I have food in my teeth? More than likely, yeah, you do. The spinach leaves, they get stuck and hung around the wire. And even though, you know, you may not see it when you look in your mirror to see if you got food in your mouth or in your braces, around your brackets, later, if you put your tongue in the back, you'll feel spinach wrapped around your wire. Totally aggravating, but really good. Not just the spinach, but lettuce. If you have shredded carrots in your salad, it's going to get stuck. All good, but just aggravating. Okay, the next food, strawberries. And I didn't realize this until like a few days ago, but my supervisor gave me a little baggie of strawberries. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can sit here at my desk and snack on strawberries. Not. So I bit down like on the side of my teeth with the strawberries and just kind of started chewing it and moving around and like I had somebody standing in front of my desk and I took my tongue and did that and it was so slick I had strawberries just like stuck right in here 
I had to excuse myself, go down the hallway, and clean my teeth. Really good. A good thing to eat, but y'all, it is so worrisome. Like, all of this was red. Like, you're constantly having to clean out and dig out. Yeah, strawberries. Totally worrisome. Alright guys, the next to the last food is corn. So I'm not talking about corn on the cob because I'm trying to be I'm trying to be smart and not eat corn on the cob because the orthodontic orthodontist told me not to eat it because you have to bite into it. But look, we go we started going to this restaurant nearby the house and they have some of the best, sweetest silver queen corn, the little bitty corn. That's the worst. Like I had corn like all across the top, all across the bottom, and I'm like sitting there sucking it, trying to suck it out, like suck it out my it does not work. You literally have to pick it out with a little tree, the little stick that you get to go in your braces. You have to literally pick the corn out of your braces. Y'all, it gets stuck so bad under your wire and between your brackets. It's like you just ought, want to just ought not to eat it because it just gets stuck real, real, real bad. Like, and even if you don't, you may not feel it while you're eating. Look, it gets so far up under that wire, you may not feel it. Corn is one of the worst. That's why I saved it kind of close, next to last. The hardest food to eat and not get it stuck. It's, it's guaranteed to get stuck in your teeth. I don't know how be love eats that corn. I'm getting ready to do a seafood um, um, mukbang for my lunch. And I just opt to not to do corn because the corn on the cob because I just, you can't eat it. Not with this. And even the corn in the bowl, impossible to eat without getting stuck in between your brackets. Alright y'all, so the last food that I'm going to share with you that gets that's easily to get stuck in your braces or around your brackets under your wire or around your wire is bread. Oh my goodness, y'all. I don't care if it's a roll, a piece of loaf bread, pizza crust, um, what else? Sub from or like a hoagie. Bread is the number one from my aspect. The number one food that that's easily to get stuck in your braces. I don't care if you're chewing it on the side, in the front, it gets stuck. Like in between all your brackets, under every spot of your wire, bread gets stuck. Stuck. I'm talking about like I've had bread to be like here all the way to the back under my wire some of it's just easy just to get out with your tongue but I promise you you're gonna have to dig it out yeah bread is the number one food to get stuck easily to get stuck in your braces alright guys so that is my short short list of foods that is easy to get stuck in your braces um, I'm sure there's other foods but those are like right now the top foods for me um, mind you, you can eat all of those foods, but you're going to have to dig it out. That sounds nasty, doesn't it? But you are. And I'm telling you, I promise you, some of those foods I named, like the corn, the bread, the spinach in my salad, I ought not to get it because I just don't want to pick it out. I don't want to pick it out. I just use the word pick it out instead of dig it out. But I just don't feel like spending time picking my braces out. Yeah, because it's aggravating. Oh, yeah, especially like if you go to Chick-fil-A or Burger King and you get a burger. And, of course, you got to cut the burger up. You're going to get that bun stuck everywhere. So, yeah. I think that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to keep these videos as far as my braces journey coming. Um... Yeah, if you got any questions, any comments, any suggestions, you want to know something about braces, 
um, drop a comment down below. I will try to remember to put some cards up top um, and some videos here at the end. Some end annotations at the end of this video um, of some other videos that I've done in the past concerning my braces. And so, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, and as always, stay focused, stay committed, and always do the work. See you guys in the next video. Bye.